certainly accounts for a lot of the pullback we're seeing right. on the markets, or as I say, unofficially, funny business. All right, funny business out there. Folks want to stay away from it. Um, Akeen, we get to speak with a lot of people throughout the day. You have my favorite name of the day. Akeen, <laughs> oh yeah, delay. Hope to see you again soon. Come back anytime. Thanks for having me. We have breaking news concerning all Taylor Swift fans right now. Yeah, it looks like anyone looking to buy tickets to her upcoming tour are likely out of luck. Ticketmaster tweeted, quote, due to extraordinarily high demands on ticketing systems and insufficient remaining ticket inventory to meet that demand, tomorrow's public on sale for Taylor Swift, the era's tour, has been canceled. This sudden cancellation comes just two days after millions of you flocked to the website in hopes of getting pre-sale tickets, that extreme demand nearly crashed the website, causing a severe slowdown across the Ticketmaster platform. This errors tour is Swift's first tour since 2018. We are going to continue to follow this situation. We know the artist herself has, has been upset at any issues preventing her fans from having access to her. So we'll bring you more on this situation as it becomes available. But Ticketmaster now suspending um, its inventory and sales of tickets to Taylor Swift's upcoming concert. All right, folks, here we go. Thanks so much for being with us here on CBS News. I'm Errol Barnett. And I'm Lana Zak. Here are some of the top stories we are following this afternoon. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announces she is stepping down from House leadership. We have team coverage. Grief is turning to anger as parents of four college students found stabbed to death at the University of Idaho demand answers from the police as the search for a suspect continues. And Ukraine is scrambling to keep millions warm as Russia takes new aim at the country's power grid. Our crews on the ground will provide an update. Plus, an historic win for Congresswoman Karen Bass. She will now be the first woman to lead Los Angeles. We'll take a look at the issues she plans to tackle as the city's mayor. And buyer beware, a new warning for parents and those buying gifts using third-party websites and vendors. From homemaker to house speaker, Nancy Pelosi announces that she is stepping down as Democratic leader of the House. And if you were with us live, you saw this unfold. Speaker Pelosi making the announcement on the House floor earlier today. The Democratic representative from California became the first woman to serve as Speaker of the House back in 2007. She went on to lead House Democrats across four administrations and significant pieces of legislation. She says it's now time to hand the party over to the next generation of Democrats. There is no greater official honor for me than to stand on this floor and to speak for the people of San Francisco. This I will continue to do as a member of the House, speaking for the people of San Francisco, serving the great state of California, and defending our Constitution. And with great confidence in our caucus, I will not seek re-election to Democratic leadership in the next Congress. Let's bring in um, Scott McFarlane, who I know is there um, on Capitol Hill, and listen to what we just heard there. She will not seek re-election to a leadership role, but she will stay um, on as a representative um, of her district in California. What struck you, Scott, from her remarks just now? Members of the California Congressional